Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab, and there are many bonuses for being a content creator. Super yachts, hyper cars, and mountains of disco powder sadly are not perks of the job, but review codes for video games I probably would never have played otherwise are. So here's Horn tonight. So I'm a member of this website called Woovit. It's for people that have decent sized YouTube or Twitch channels and the idea is that you get free review codes of games then make a video on said game. It's mainly indie games who can't afford to advertise. Although some larger studios like Sega and Paradox are starting to offer their games here too. But like I said, most of these are indie games and the kind of indie games that you can see are utter pony from a mile away. From this website, I've already covered Hentai vs Evil and Pretty Girl Solitaire, which are both the gaming equivalent of getting dressed in the morning and finding out you just put your jizz sock on. So I was determined to find a decent indie game on this site to cover. So after looking around, I found Horn Knight, which gives off Demon Souls vibes in its artwork, but is about as satisfying as eating last night's Chinese after reheating it in the microwave. You just feel like it could have been better. It does some things quite well, but it's also fairly average in other departments. And in one area, it completely shits the bed and ruins the whole experience. So what does it do right? Well, it's aiming for 2D retro style and it hits it pretty well in terms of look and feel. If you like old school pixel art, you'll probably find this quite appealing in terms of graphics. As far as gameplay goes, it's pretty simple. Just like finding yourself at a Billie Eilish concert, you just need to get to the exit as quickly as possible and avoid the traps. It's nice and simple gameplay and it's explained why you do the first level without treating you like a fucking idiot and forcing you to go for a stupid tutorial level that spends 10 years explaining how the jump button works. I'm a unitard! Most of the controls work fine, not all, but I'll get to that. The game is very generous with refilling your health bar throughout each level, but if you do make a mistake and die, the game is extremely quick in getting you back into the action. There is a mid-air dash that doesn't seem to work every time. Sometimes it just says fuck you and does whatever it likes, and although the controls are decent enough, they feel a bit off, just not quite as precise as you'd like. Not game breaking, but you certainly do notice it. Some traps in this game are either designed to be annoying or the developer, too awesome studio, might want to reel that name back a bit lads, yet the developer just really missed obvious design fixes. The best example is these spike things that move around on a set path. What is the set path? Fuck knows. But they desperately want to have the tram line things to show their path like in Super Mario World. Another thing that really bothers me is the music. So they clearly aimed for the old school pixel art graphics and old style gameplay so you would have thought they'd match this up with music that sounded like it's from the early 90s era i would have gone for something like this they actually went for is this weird 20 second non-stop looping sample was that? It's bad enough it's the same loop over and over and over again, but it's not consistent with the style of the rest of the game. Why have they done this? They did it right in the title screen for the game. So why didn't they continue this style for the actual game? What were they thinking? But the worst thing about this game is how utterly fucking lazy they have been with the trophy support. So I started playing this game at 20 to 9 on the night that you can see here. 20 minutes later at 9 o'clock I had earned the platinum trophy. There are 5 levels in this game and each level has 9 stages and then a boss. But by the time you beat the first boss of the first level you've earned every trophy in the game. So as far as I'm concerned, that's it, job done, I'm finished. I played a little bit of the second level, but once you've seen the Platinum Trophy flash up, all the motivation to continue is just gone. I know there are some cheap indie games that use the Easy Platinum as a selling point, but once I've got it, why am I going to keep going? Do you really think I'm going to continue playing this game for no reward when I could be playing literally anything else? 
Of course not. Maybe this is done on purpose. Maybe the rest of the levels in this game are shit and they don't want you to see them. If that was the plan, then well done to Awesome Studio. You did it. Congratulations. Because once I've got the platinum, Horn Knight is just getting deleted and I'm going back to Yakuza rather than playing this shit. So at the end of the day, this is a mediocre platform game that isn't good enough to warrant playing once you get past having the platinum trophy. It's super cheap on the PlayStation Store right now, although it's also on Steam and Nintendo Switch. It's also on Xbox, but unless you're a total muppet, you won't have an Xbox. Thanks for watching, guys. A like, subscribe, and comment are very much appreciated. Plus, if you like what you saw, here are some links on the screen now to some of my other videos that I've made that you might like. Thank you.